Hi, it's Brian from Brian Without Borders. I've been hiking the PCT since the 3rd of March and have been giving trail reports for hikers behind me so that they have a better uh, situational awareness of water, uh, sources, and various things that they can see on the trail. However, I've seen a lot of social media posts of, from people who are worried that they probably shouldn't even start the hike because of the coronavirus. They're worried that the towns where they get mail drops, resupply options, and so on, aren't going to be open in order to get those critical resources. So this is gonna be the first of potentially many installments of what are going to be called town reports. The first town I'm here in is Idlewild, California. So follow as I interview and see some of the various uh, restaurants, grocery stores, and so on to see what kind of services they will have available when you come into town. I'm here at the Idlewild Pharmacy, a very important place for many through hikers. Uh, they are open for business as normal and have everything a typical pharmacy would have uh, to include snacks, hygiene supplies, uh, braces, and so on uh, for any injuries that may happen while on trail. The only thing that they currently cannot get are Leucotape, face masks, and hand sanitizer. Other than that, they're good to go. Hi, I'm here at Fairway Market with the assistant manager, Barb, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what Fairway Market offers, uh, particularly considering the recent outbreak of coronavirus and how it impacts PCT through hikers. Hello, how is everybody doing today? Um, we are open as usual, same hours, nothing's changing. Our delivery times are still all the same. We get the majority of our deliveries done on Tuesday. Um, we do have toilet paper, we do have paper towels, we do have some sanitizers. Um, all the things that people are out trying to get everywhere else. I just want to make everyone be reassured that we will have the items here for you. There are some items that are out of stock, but that is through warehouse, so it's actually not from us. Unfortunately, since the coronavirus, everyone's gone crazy and gone and bought out everything that they could possibly get, so warehouses are trying to keep up with everyone's demand. But um, we welcome hikers every year. We'll do everything we can to make sure that we have everything available for them. Well, thank you very much, Barb. Here at the Idle Wild Post Office, everything is business as usual. Your shipments, your resupply packages, and so on can go on as you would normally expect on any other day in any other town. Hi, I'm Kenna, owner of Idle Wild Pizza Company. We are open for business um, during this time, the coronavirus. Uh, we are only allowed to have 10 people in our building at a time, so all day long we will have to-go orders to feed you. You can look up our website, um, it's idlewildmeetscompany.com. We also have our menu posted on the window for you, so please come in, ask us questions, uh, we'll be, do our best to feed you and help you while you're in our town. Hello, my name is David. I'm here, the manager of Fratello's Ristorante. I just wanted to let everybody know that we're still open. However, we're just doing takeouts order, order, orders at the moment. Uh, please give us a call if you need any information in regarding our hours. We're going to try to do our best to keep our doors open. And we hope to uh, hear from you and uh, get some two orders. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm here at the Lumber Mill Bar and Grill here in Idlewild. They are business as usual as far as you can get pickup orders to go, and they do have limited seating. As you can tell, they put a lot of their seats up in order to reduce capacity. But the bar is open, and uh, if you do want to get some food, you are more than welcome. Hi, I'm here at IDY Sushi Shop, and they are business as usual. It's a very small place, so I know you probably don't get a lot of sushi on the trail, so if you're craving it, here's the place to go. They're open, they're available, and they really need your business. Hi, I'm here with Austin from Village Market, and we're curious how the coronavirus has impacted your store operations. Uh, the store operations are running as usual. Uh, prices of the products have gone up distribution side, but we're keeping our products the same price here in town. Uh, we worked a lot with the firefighters during the fires and the flooding and all the construction workers that were up here. The village market's always been open and available for whoever needs it. Do you have any supply issues, supply lines? Just just the, the toilet paper and hand sanitizer is the only thing that we're out of, but we're getting our regular food shipments in. We are getting uh, candy, boxed foods, everything still as running as usual.
Okay. So basically everything a through hiker needs is still available here at Village Market? Yes, of course. Right. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, granola bars and candy bars is their main purchases and we have plenty of that. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you very much, no Austin. Problem. I appreciate it. I'm here at Nomad Ventures with Jazz. Hi. How's it going? Hey. And uh, so uh, a few questions here. How has the coronavirus impacted your operations here at the store? Uh, so we're having to be a lot, a little bit more careful. Uh, just spraying down surfaces pretty often and like uh, even taking as precautions as we want to take orders over the phone and then just leave out items for people like they're more than welcome to do that like uh, yeah uh, has, has it impacted your hours of operation at all not not really not particularly we give all of our employees options to if they don't want to work during this time they don't have to but we're staying open for pct hikers because we know it's like kind of vital for them to resupply and get on their next leg of the journey. So, yeah. It, it seems like you have a lot of uh, equipment here that's that could really help PCT hikers if they need equipment replacement and so on. What would you like to say to the the PCT through hikers? Uh, so we are a head to toe outfitter here. We've got previous long distance trail knowledge and um, we do our best to listen to the hikers coming through what they want and pretty much fit most of the needs of getting down to your next leg of the journey. So, yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> no problem, yeah. Hi, I'm here at the famous Red Kettle. And unfortunately, the Red Kettle, as of tomorrow, will only have takeout service only. In fact, you can call, order your food, and they will bring it to the front door. Uh, due to the health restrictions, they're enforcing a strict policy and won't even let you in the front door. But that's for everyone's benefit. So uh, make your order, and they're open from 9 till 2. Well, there you have it, folks. Here in Idlewild, California, they still have the ability to fully support PCT through hikers to include gear shops, grocery stores, and hotels. Sure, the bars will be closed, but restaurants are still available for takeout services. So don't let this stand in the way. Get out there and hike on.